Hi everyone, welcome back to Tips with Iz, where every week I'll be giving you tips and drills on how to improve your swing. My name is Iz and I'm the co-founder of Iz Golf. I played competitive golf for about 12 years before starting the company. I know how frustrating it is to not be able to understand the swing. And there are so many mechanics that go into just the backswing alone. And I'm hoping today's video is going to clear that up. Today, we're going to be working on how to improve your golf swing with nothing but a plate. Now, if you think about it, the backswing is literally just a perfect plane. I bet if I asked you just to take a baseball swing on a horizontal plane, be a piece of cake. Why is it though that as soon as we're bent into our golf posture and in a different, more diagonal plane, we suddenly forget where the plane is? The reason why the backswing plane is so important is because it is the catalyst of where your downswing plane is going to be. That means you're probably going to come too far inside or too far outside on the downswing and this is going to affect the direction of your ball flight. So if you're ever in doubt of your golf swing plane, go ahead, just stand straight up and go into a baseball horizontal plane and then just bend down into your golf posture. So I'm going to be breaking down the backswing into four parts. P1 is going to be set up, but we're not really going to use that. This position is going to be P2, where your body is just beginning to rotate and your club is parallel to the ground. The next position is going to be P3, where your arms are now parallel to the ground and your right leg is starting to straighten. A good checkpoint here is that the butt of the club is actually pointing at the ball. The last position is going to be P4, which is the top of backswing. It's recommended to have a flat left wrist, top of backswing. So again, this is P2, P3, and P4. All right, now we're going to work on our P2 positioning. We're going to take a plate and put it under our right armpit. The reason for this is because we want to stay connected on our takeaway. You'll also want to grab either a mirror or your phone. I use my phone, it works perfectly. At P2, the club head should be covering your hands. So for example, this is to inside so let's just use the mirror and cover it back up and that's perfect all right so now we've nailed p2 however the next part gets a little complicated you see a lot of different swings going on here that are very off plane so i have the perfect drill to get that perfect plane rotation. So I'd like you to imagine how your waiter brings your food to you. They carry it really close to their body or like this, extremely wide. I'm gonna guess right in the middle. And this is where you're gonna be in your strongest position. So now what we're gonna do is bend right into our golf posture. So don't worry about dropping the food or the plate because you are now at a different plane. Now, when you're ready, take away the plate, and this is gonna be your right hand position. And when you're ready, go ahead and put your left hand on top. And that is your P3 position. Just a quick tip, if you want more width in your backswing, go ahead and feel it in your right arm. I know many of us feel it in our left arm, maybe because it's the one we can see, but go ahead and feel the width right there. So just to recap, we're going to feel like we're holding a plate. We're going to put our left hand on, bend over into our golf position. And that is our P3. Now we're going to talk about how to get to P3 to P4 correctly. We're just going to stick to our horizontal plane and just turn back, turn right back in this flat plane. The feeling I use is your right elbow going straight back. Now we're going to step into our golf posture 
and do the same thing. A good checkpoint that you're doing this correctly is that your lead arm is just right above your shoulder blade. So just focus on your right elbow, just going back nice and easy, and that's gonna give you the width you need. All right, folks, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this video helped you understand the mechanics of the backswing. Also, don't forget to upgrade your sock drawer. His socks are ultra soft and made with foot compression and arch support. You can pick some up for your next round or at home. They're the perfect socks on and off the course. Enjoy 15% off your order with code COMFORT right over here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week with Tips with Iv. Bye!